less than six months after his last album, Anderson Pack is back with a new album. Um, if you remember, the Oxnard album was a bit of a huge letdown for me. At this point, it's probably <laughs> becoming a bit overhated. I feel like people have done a huge 180 on that album. There were definitely people out there that loved it, and that's absolutely fine. But it seems as though people have pretty much decided that it actually wasn't good at all. Even though there were definitely some really good tracks on that thing, the biggest issue for me was Anderson Pike's uh, personality just seemed to be sucked away a little bit. Aside from a few tracks where I think he was just his old self, like on Tints and Cheers, and maybe a bit of like Who Are You as well, but generally on that thing the production was really weak due to the fact that Dr. Dre was the executive producer and I think he was the biggest part of the album's problem, I think. Um, not to say that Dr. Dre isn't good, Although The Chronic is a, is not very good. The Chronic is definitely overrated. It's not a good album. But I think overall his, his production over time has been very influential. But I just think that pairing on that specific album didn't work. So Ventura has come really quickly after Oxnard, which I think was announced at the time that there was going to be a two albums, but it does kind of feel very odd that this album has come out so quickly. And the results, well, honestly, uh, you know, uh, uh, this should have been Oxnard. Why the hell was this not Oxnard? I do not know. I think one of the biggest mysteries of 2018 was that Bubbling was one of the best songs of the year and it somehow didn't make its way onto an album. And one of the biggest mysteries of 2019 is that Ventura is an album that, that should have been the album we, we we got in the first place. Like, I don't understand. This seems like the, the album that he wanted. This is the album that he's most comfortable with. Everything about this is Anderson Pack. I just don't get why we got two. This is the Anderson Pack that we know best and it's friggin' great. Sure, you could argue that he wanted to venture off or venture off <laughs> into different sounds on Oxnard, but, um, it, it, it wasn't really that much of a difference in terms of sound. Like, I've seen a few people mention that, well, it's completely different for him, it, but it, it wasn't. It was still the same styles, just done in a weak way, whereas this album, I feel, is, like, so refined and has, like, definition to it. Like, there's such a defined neo-soul sound throughout. There aren't really many missteps across the album, although there are a few tracks that are a bit weaker in comparison, but, like, there's nothing really here that makes me feel like this is not the Anderson pack that we've wanted. This is the Anderson pack we've wanted. He's going quite old school with this album, I'd say, because um, the uh, track listing has quite a few features from back in the day of like the classic Neo Soul days. You got Nate Dog, you got Brandy, you've also got Smokey Robinson, one of the soul legends. And all of them bring out this fantastic soul sound that is so familiar, yet when it's done well, it's done so well, and these artists do it so well. You've also got some lesser known features on here, like Jasmine Sullivan, who does a great job on her feature, and also a guest rap verse from none other than Andre 3000, which is a great feature as well. Everything about all the fantastic features here are essentially showcasing what went wrong with Oxnard, because all the features on that album were pretty drab, pretty eh, whatever, didn't really do much to add to the songs that they were on. You had like people like J. Cole, uh, Snoop Dogg, Pusha T, like great artists that potentially could add to the sound, but they just never really did. Whereas here, I think everything's crafted so well in the production and in the way that the songs sound. They're slick, they're kind of sexy at points, and essentially they're what you could have said about Malibu back when that came out, because in a lot of ways there are some major similarities here, and that could be a problem, I think, for some people, where that they're probably getting a little bit bored of Anderson Pack at this point, and we're running over the same themes, not really doing anything new, but I feel as though he's just so good at doing that one thing that you don't really want him to change it up too much because he's why 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 change it when he's already so good? In terms of the lyrics on this album, I've uh, already glossed over it a little bit as I've said that he's pretty much uh, going over the same kind of themes. He's as charming as ever though on tracks like Come Home where he's essentially just like begging his lover for 
you know, forgiveness and just wants them to be with him. And he words it in a pretty nice way throughout, I would say. I really like the line where he says, you know, all the signs are pointing back to her open arms and that's where he should be. He has a really good way of wording things at times where it just gives him this really like smooth and charismatic personality that you just couldn't say no to, man. I mean, those teeth as well, you can't say no to Anderson Pack. Jesus Christ. Make it better is um, Anderson Pack's Let's Stay Together, to be honest. I think that is his version of that Al Green classic song where he's talking here about how, you know, like, the relationship's just starting to lose its flair, it's starting to lose that fire, everything about that spark is going away, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to try and make it better. And I just do really feel like if you gave this song to someone else or in the wrong hands, it could just be really cliche or cringy. There'd be loads of lines that'd come out that just reek of ugh. But it's never like that with Anson Pack. He just has a way and I think the way he sings over the chorus is just so beautiful. He harmonizes really well with Smokey Robinson as well. There's just such a great hook here. And I am absolutely addicted to this song. I think it's absolutely one of the best songs of the year so far. King James, the lead single for this album, actually didn't get me much hype for the album itself. I remember feeling like I'm just not sure if I'm invested in a new album from Anderson Pack at this point. Um, but actually, you know what, in context with the album, I've, I've really grown to love it. I think there are some really great lines on this one as well. I really like the reference to LeBron James. It's got a really snappy beat, some lovely horns throughout, and a great catchy chorus. What about the love? Come on me. <laughs> Come on me. Reaching Too Much has this great instrumental, has a nice beat switch as well. I do think once the beat switches though, it does remind me way too much of um, Lightweight on Malibu. And there are a few other moments on this album that do kind of like remind me just a little bit too much of Malibu, just in the sense that there's not really that much diversity in the sounds that he's going for. Um, definitely on the track Twilight as well, definitely feels like one of the more like pop uh, tracks that came from Malibu, the more upbeat pop songs. But again, it's just one of those occurrences where the sound is so good. Like, Twilight is just such a great melody to it that you just can't deny it. Like, yeah, sure, it may sound like something he's already done before, but he keeps doing it well, so I'm just not gonna say no to it. Also, a major highlight on the album has gotta be What Can We Do With Nate Dog. The way they play off each other on this track is so fantastic. Like, it's just a match made in heaven there. This collaboration here is the perfect collaboration for a Neo Soul Jam. They both just ooze with so much coolness. Like, this track is just the definition of cool. Now, in terms of, like, bigger gripes that I have with the album, there aren't really too many, but I definitely feel like Good Heels could have been way longer. Like, I really love Jasmine Sullivan's uh, guest feature here. Would have been good to hear this track extended out rather than it just be a pretty much uh, skippable interlude, I guess you could call it. But then there's Chosen One, which I think if you cut the first half of that song and gave it to Good Heels, it would have been so much better. I do think Chosen One is the clear-cut weak link out of the entire album here because I just think that first half sounds a bit messy. The beat isn't particularly very good. It does kind of sound quite shoddily put together, but it has another beat switch just like reaching too much. And I think once the beat switches in that second half, Anderson Pack sounds great. It's just that first half though that definitely could have being cut out or at least made shorter because it's pretty weak. But yeah, that's really it in terms of issues. I mean, uh, this is everything I want from an Anderson Pack album at this point. Um, anyone that's been subscribed to me for quite a while now probably would predict that I'd end up loving this because uh, I am quite a big fan of the guy. But um, this is definitely a return to form easily cons considering that, you know, Oxnard was quite a letdown. So many great jams on this album. I mean, so many replayable songs. Anderson Pack again, is just so charismatic across the entire thing. The features are equally as good as he is across this album too. Yeah, this is like a very easy eight out of 10 from me. Um, I've given so many positive scores lately too. There's so many great albums at the minute. Um, but yeah, this is a, a 2019 highlight for sure. I do really hope that this one gets a strong, warm reception because I am really liking this a lot. And I think a lot of his uh, fans will will definitely appreciate this one a lot more than Oxnog because I do feel like many people will consider this one a, a big return to form. At least that's exactly what I'm hoping for anyway. But for me, it's definitely a great album. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know your thoughts on this 
album and uh thank you for watching my review hope you enjoyed it have a good day goodbye